Okay. Hi, everyone. We're at some weird park where yeah. there's a secret uh, concert hall, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that no one ever uses ever. Uh, but I'm here with Jason Wishnov. Hi. I'm Is that how you say your last name? Wishnov? Wishnov. Wishnov. It's Russian. I was going to say it's Russian. Yeah. Uh, it means anyway. cherry in Russian. That's cherry? Like, everyone has like really cool last names. They always mean like brave warrior, or, like beautiful flower. What does yours mean? I don't know what my last Unknown? name means. Tell yeah. me what my last name means. So, uh, but yeah, just point it at us when we talk. Yeah. You're doing great. Um, yes, I'm interviewing And we have you. this fuzzy guy yeah, here now. Yeah, a little troll head guy. So no more wind noise. Let's, show, let's do a little experiment. We have no idea how that sounded. Did that sound okay? Before we begin, Jason Wishnov and I, uh, I have a gift for you. I want to bestow upon you oh the my gift God. of fancy chocolate. Fancy chocolate. It's called, hello, my name is Caramel Brownie. Hello, Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Caramel Thought brownie. that I would eat all you and your caramel brownie. I want you in my mouth. <laughs> very good. I'm very excited about uh, this. Thank you so it's much. It's by Lint. You can share it in a romantic uh, day at the park if you want. We could, you know, it's, yeah. it's so beautiful okay. here. I have to eat it in small amounts. Are you uh, lactose intolerant? I am. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, that uh, candy bar is brought to you by Lint. This episode, I know I joke about this a lot, but this episode is actually actually brought to you by Fat Burger. <laughs> it is. For real this time. We just came from a meeting with Fat Burger. They were super yeah, stoked. Yeah, they were super stoked. They loved it. Are we going to split? We're going up this ramp here, and this is like an abandoned park. Yeah, like, no one's ever there. here. Well, there's actually a couple people here right now, but, uh, but we're going just, just ignore here. that. And there's like a secret, secret yeah. ass like... Ian's never seen it. I told him this existed it. and I'm hoping that when we get up there it's actually a blank crater and somehow like <laughs> aliens or the government has like removed it somehow, this massive structure. Yeah. I've heard, I've only heard stories of concerts happening up here. I live around here. I've never heard anything. I've never seen anything. There's been no signs or flyers for anything that's ever happened here, ever. Yeah. We're also getting a fair amount of exercise. This is a steep ramp. Yeah, rack. this is a good hill. Yeah. There's definitely a gate. It's definitely a gate. And there, look, like there's clearly, like, that's like where you buy tickets over there. But yeah. it's like old and dilapidated. It feels like a, an abandoned theme park. Like, I can almost fit through this bar, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's an outdoor venue and there's like a bunch of, there's a bunch of seating over there. Yeah. It's just, and look, the grass is well maintained. All there's right. a bench though. There is a bench. I like that idea. Uh, okay, though. let's go to the bench. You have an idea for a segment. You haven't told me what it is. So oh, yeah. We do have I a just, segment today. Yeah, I don't... I assume it's like, let's play Thumb War while freestyle rapping. Wait, can that be a segment? That's a good idea. That's pretty much the segment. Okay. Uh, I'll explain the segment as we walk down this hill. Yeah, I know. I kind of uh, want to like roll down it. It's a really good hill. If you hill. roll down it, I'll film it. Oh, man. You're mess up I'm a clothes. professional game developer. I can't, That's true. I can't do that. There are a lot of gophers in this hill. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll. Are you gonna roll? I'm not gonna roll the dumb way. I'm gonna roll the fucking ninja way. Okay. Please cut this if it looks dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. What's this lizard? So, fun fact about that lizard, six months ago my microwave wouldn't work properly. It was like inconsistent, making weird noises. So eventually we called the maintenance people and they came over uh, and they took it out and they couldn't find what was wrong with it and they like, we're shaking it around and doing all this stuff. Finally, they like unscrewed the paneling and inside was this crispy, like mummified lizard that had been destroyed by the microwaves themselves, like <laughs> cooked alive. And then this is really morbid and uh, just trapped inside the machinery. And they actually, they just like shook it out and then it was fun. And oh my God. Was, this is, I don't know why I'm holding this. Yeah, that's really hands. gross. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I, don't know. I was like, when you picked it up, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Coming this summer. Ian, in a blockbuster action thriller like you've never seen before. Join Ian, Huber, and the rest of the GTEA crew as they journey across America in search of a relic that can save everyone. It's called Relic Journey 3. <laughs> so you're gonna say this, so I can't see if the camera's still rolling and we're probably gonna run out of batteries. Well, okay. But we got a bar of fancy chocolate. Yes. And we're gonna do a segment. Should we open it? Should I open this? Yeah, open yeah, that. Okay. I'll hold this while I explain this. Um, this isn't a gift, this is a bit. I'll take it. Everything's a bit. Everything's a bit. Uh, okay, so we're gonna play a game that we played once on the old show. 
called Kill Your Babies. Oh my. Oh, now, uh, oh. just I know, I, just so people don't freak out, Kill Your Babies is like a creative like filmmaking term. It's probably used in other it is actually, mediums. In but writing often. In writing, yeah. It means that sometimes, for the good of the whole, you have to get rid of... Something you really like. Yeah, things you really liked. Like a scene or... Like, oh, I love this scene. shot. It's This shot is great. We spent all day getting it, but it just uh, it screws up the timing. we got to ditch it. Right. Uh, so anyway, what we've got here, I asked Jason for a list of his favorite video games. And I put a few of my favorite video games and a couple of little surprises to make this really interesting on this list. And what we have to do is go down the list and one by one, taking turns, remove that game from existence. And is it going to get down to one? And we have to end with one game. Oh my god. I wish I had a pen because I don't have a way to cross these off. But Uh, we'll just remember. We'll remember. We'll use chocolate. (laughs) <laughs> we'll just mark, yeah, we'll just mark the chocolate. That'll be gross. I don't yeah, want to gross up. Oh, wait, what does the chocolate have to do with the game? We're just going to eat chocolate sometimes. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, every time you do it, you have no, to take no, a bite. No, no, no. You just get some chocolate from time to give me this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, my God. So I'll read the list aloud here. Mm. We've got Final Fantasy VII, VI, VI and IX, uh, and Tactics. I added that. Tactics is a great game. Chrono Trigger, Virtue's Last Reward, Mirror's Edge. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy, The mm-hmm. Longest Journey, Soul Calibur 2, The Talos Principle, love The Talos Principle, uh, Castlevania, We're puzzle guys. We're puzzle we guys. love puzzles. We love puzzles. They're the best. Uh, apparently, uh, Stevens? Stevens Sausage Roll, an incredibly obscure indie game just came out. It's pretty expensive. It's 30 bucks. $30. And you, you go to the Steam page and like, there's no description. There's the trailer like, The trailer is nothing. nothing. It's nothing. And, but Jonathan Blow recommended it, which is why I bought it. He was like, this is one of the best puzzle games ever made. If you like puzzle games and you randomly have thirty dollars laying around, it it is incredible. It is yeah. fantastic. I'm already like twenty five hours into it. Oh my god! Like it is. I, I dream. Didn't realize it was that long. I dream about sausages. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, Mist, Silent Hill Two. There came an echo. <laughs> uh, before the echo. Yeah, that's my first game. Previously right? sequence. Previously sequence. Uh, Ghost needs sheets, which is a game I made. It's not good. I have never. And then that. charity is an RPG I'm making right now. Not out yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was fair to have no two that, games, my games I made. And you, yeah, I mean, my games are not actual they're games. They're real. No. I mean, they exist, but they're not like you know just whatever. Anyway, real. Uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, The Witness, Braid, Dark Souls Three, Sukoden One and Two, and I already said Tactics. I always wanted to ask: Is it Suikoden? Or it's it's we we did a thing at the old place yeah. about pronunciation, and it's Suikoden. Suikoden. Like chop suey, like sui. Suikoden. Koden. Yeah. yeah. I Suikoden. played two. I did not play one, and I did not beat two. Anyway, they're wait. amazing games. I yeah. We'll anyway, we'll do you want to we'll go? There. Do you want to go first or second? Okay. Or should we rock paper scissors? Rock paper scissors. Okay, on shoot. Yeah, I hate people that go on no. three. You do people that? go on people three. Go like Huber, one, two, three. Huber goes on three. Huber, you're wrong. It's insane. That's insane. Get it? Yeah. God, I hate. Right? That. Exactly. It's on right? shoot. Yeah. Here yeah. We go. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. <laughs> okay. Right. Wait. Does you, that mean you, I get you, to it choose? Means you choose? It means you choose. I'll go first. I'll throw you a ball. Oh God, I appreciate that. Uh, all right. So what we have to do is we have to. Erase one of these games from existence, and explain why. I and then, and then a brief explanation of 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 why. Yeah. Um. Oh God. All right. So first off, I would say. I mean, the easy choice would be to erase erase my own games. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh. Okay. I. Oh God. Soul Calibur Two. Okay. Why? Uh. I never played it. That's a fairly good reason. <laughs> I'm I, sorry, it's one of your favorites. I mean, it's not. It wouldn't be like some of the final entries on this list. Soul Calibur 2, to me, was the, the pinnacle of fighting games. So many fighting games have all these, like, super bars and crazy button combinations and stuff you have to memorize and fatalities. Soul Calibur 2 was, like, pure. Yeah. Like, there was no button sequence that lasted more than, like, three buttons, and it was all about spacing and movement and range and reach. It was just, and it was a beautiful game. Characters were awesome. And skill. And skill. Like, I loved it. And the, the arcade game that had this really cool, like, persistent mode called Conquest, where people join one of four teams, and, like, all your buddies would come and, like, fight for your team and take over territory, and then, like, other people would come in and fight back. It was cool. It was a cool game. That sounds cool. It was cool, but... And swords. And swords. And, and Right, but, you Is know... Is this, like, covered in, like, spiders? <laughs> well, now that you've thought about it. If you can I, read my handwriting, that's that's challenge number one. I'm going to cut out... Yeah, I know I'm going to get some flack for this. I'm going to cut out Dark Souls. Oof! Oh. I, I didn't say Dark Souls 3 and I didn't say Bloodborne. I said Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1. I, I literally own Dark Souls. It's on my shelf. And I played through it. I got to, like, a butterfly boss. I couldn't beat the butterfly Moonlight boss. Butterfly, yeah. Yeah. 
But, you know, that game is a masochistic game, and it's about incredible patience, and it's about very, very slowly learning and working through each segment to gain an advantage. And while I respect that, it's, it's, it's deliberately frustrating in that sense. You can go through 30 minutes of an incredibly difficult section, do everything perfectly, and then you make one mistake, and you're all the way back 30 minutes prior. I believe that challenge in games shouldn't necessarily come from having to repeat the same segment over and over again, but from the actual, like, in the moment really trying to figure that out. And well, I respect the game, and I respect well, the people the who like it. You, you just gotta get good. I, I, that's, that's the real problem. I'm, <laughs> I, I gotta get good. It's G-I-T. G-I-T. G-U-D. G-U-D. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just earned some haters there. No one's gonna buy their game. It's alright. No, no, it's okay. Uh, the thing is, like, I mean, I just died a little inside as you're talking, but like, <laughs> we're not as good friends anymore. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Oh, we're not friends. Oh, right. Anyway, Dark Souls is amazing, but it's dead all now. These never are existed. Games. Yeah, all that's these the problem. Are good games. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, Dark Souls never existed. It's cool. Um, I'll get rid of. Okay. I don't think I've even heard of Virtue's Last Reward. Oh my God, no! You're not. Yeah, uh, that's like the one I would leave, man. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it's dead. Oh no! <laughs> revenge. That revenge. Is a, that was a revenge pick. Virtue's Last Reward is the second game in the Zero Escape series. I read a lot of fantasy, and I don't read a ton of sci-fi. But my friends ask me, they're like, "Hey, like, what's like a really good sci-fi novel that you've read in the last like ten years?" I literally can't think of a book that was even half as engaging. As Virtue's Last Reward. Okay. You don't need to and play the a game. It's a game. It's it's just a game. It's 3DS and Vita. Oh. You don't need to play the first one in the series. It gives you some context and some you'll like recognize some characters and stuff. But it's standalone. You can play it by itself. I cannot describe to you how unique and unbelievably like the the story cannot be told in any other medium. It is it is it's so complex, but everything fits together perfectly. It's like if Lost had actually followed through <laughs> on all of its promises and everything made sense. It's impossible. That's what no. That's what Virtue's Last Reward is. Oh my it's God. it's the dream on realized Vita? and 3ds yeah wow if you want my recommendation I, I'll play that no it's unbelievable and the new the final uh, game in the trilogy is coming out in June June 28th and I am Sweet. unbelievably so Virtue's Last Reward is the second one it's the second one okay yeah. would Nine, you recommend it on the 3ds or the Vita or no difference not much of a difference the 3ds has a little like notepad which is nice because you solve puzzles oh you like oh, puzzles puzzles there's puzzles in it I like puzzles yeah it's like well a now I feel novel bad puzzles yeah well it never existed so <clears> we can't play uh, it yeah now. that's not even a real thing whose turn is it it's my turn because you. I destroyed your life. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Suikoden One. I didn't Ooh. play it, and I, I and and everyone online says Suikoden Two is better than Suikoden One. That so is generally. We'll talk held, about yeah. Suikoden Two later, but I mean, obviously, if, if Suikoden Two is there, Suikoden One can't be there. So sure. I've been killing a lot of yours. I'll get rid of Braid, even though I think it's necessary to lead to the witness. Yeah, I agree. And I love the witness. Yeah. The Bra- Braid is good. I just never. You know, as an indie developer, Braid was really important to me because Braid was one of the first really commercially successful indie yeah. games. It was like World of Goo, Braid, Aquaria was in there at some point, and these like proved like they had a market and an audience. And that was actually around that time when I started making my first game. This is Jason Life Advice number four hundred and seventy-three. You're eating some chips. That's delicious, but you're done now, and you don't have a chip club, and you're like, damn it, what do I do? Watch this noise. Get the air out of there, right? You fold it down twice. And you come back to the center, fold it one more time, and push through, and bam, you have a sealed chip bag. No clip ever required again, and your life is now, like, that much better. You're welcome. I'm gonna, I gotta kill one of these. I gotta kill Charity, because, yeah. I, I mean, this it's is... It's a better game than Ghost Needs Sheets, but... Damn it. I just, but that's I, okay. Ghost Needs Sheets just sounds like it, a great Ghost Needs Sheets is funnier. Yeah, like that just that appeals, has better music. that appeals to me. So mm-hmm. I, I can't say anything about it. I just I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it, but until I do, it uh, it's in playtesting right now. It oh. should come out. Uh, I don't know, in like a month. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. What's it coming out on? Itchio is the long, longest journey actually good? Oh my god! Well, yeah, of course. Well, I'm killing it. Oh, longest journey is great. It's one of my favorite adventure games, point and click adventure games of all time. Uh, this episode. Starts with a song about point and click adventure games. So point and click adventure. I'm assuming that's it. That's that's the one. pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're just killing each other's. We're, yeah. We're I'm, not no- I'm noticing our- a flaw in well, this <laughs> system. Well, because the, the first time we did this, I'll tell you uh, what. It was Bossman and I, and it was I'll, IGN's like top. 100. I'll tell you what. I'll kill. I'll kill one of mine. I'm gonna kill Final Fantasy VII. Whoa. I'm gonna kill Final Fantasy VII. What? Uh, look. Why seven? I, I love the. I love the game. But I recognize that it's still a great game, but I recognize that a large part of my own love of that game is based on nostalgia. That's when, true. When you played that game in 95 or 96 or whenever it came 97, out. 97, I think. Yeah, whatever. And you were like 10 or 11, 
and it like it was the most mind blowing thing that oh, yeah. you've ever seen in your life, and that sticks with you. But ever you look back, the translation is iffy. I actually only recently learned like there are a lot of plot details that are completely obscured by the English translation. Really, and there's a project, there's a mod project called Rebirth that kind of like refixes a lot of that stuff, and you learn a bunch of stuff. You're like, oh my god, like what really? Like that's what happened? Yeah, like, I remember as a kid being like really confused and but it, just still loving it because yeah, no, the graphics yeah. were so crazy and now on the graphics and the graphics are horrible, horrible. No, they're, they're so horrible bad. they're so bad right now and uh that remake though that remake though it's gonna be three games though like hey, did whatever you i mean yeah I'll, I'll buy it obviously. like i don't know like i'm it's happening why didn't i bring sunglasses this is dumb. yeah you're dumb i'm dumb all right it's all right seven's gone i killed all one right. of my own you're thank you're welcome that's okay i'll i'll return the favor uh okay i love i love these games we all love these. But these are some of the greatest. I'll games. just get rid of Suicoden Two right now. Wow, I didn't um, think you were you would be the one to do that. I did it. Why? I saved you the pain. Yeah. Uh, I love those games. I actually I love the castle in Suicoden One, a lot. But the, the oh god, they're so good. Was, the problem I was having with Suicoden Two was the same problem I had in Chrono Cross, which was the the game was really compelling, but you introduce so many characters and you can't have effective characterization for so many, and so I ended up just like not caring about almost all of them. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are 108. There are 108 characters. characters <laughs> that's like, a bit. That's a it's, bit. You know, and it's it becomes this kind of like Pokemon thing. Yeah. But it's not. You're not like filling a Pokedex. There's something about filling a Pokedex that was really satisfying. You're filling a castle. Yeah, but what did they do? They add like a flower shop to your castle. Oh. I'm killing Mirror's Edge, and this is a hopeful kill. Oh. Because I love Mirror's Edge, and I'm hopeful for. I'm hoping that Mirror's yeah. Edge Catalyst supplants Mirror's Edge yeah. on this list. Is it a reboot? Or it's, just it's a, yeah, it's a reboot prequel. They don't really care about what happened in the first game. Okay, okay. It's totally so new. it's like all these Spider-Man. I did play the beta, and it was a little rough. It had some performance issues on uh, uh, PlayStation. What did you play? On? I was on PS4. Um, like the the cutscenes were like frame rate locked to like weird numbers, like 23. It was bizarre. Um, but whatever. They've got some time, so we'll. I'm 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 hopeful for that game. Yeah. 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 Oh shit! My fingerprints on the chocolate. They're gonna know I was here. <laughs> Got to eat the evidence. <laughs> I'm in. I'll kill before the echo. I believe that you would have achieved greatness regardless. I appreciate so. that. In out with the old and in with the new. Yeah, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. Plus, you killed my game. I did. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna kill Dark Souls three because if I killed Dark Souls one, Dark Souls three is obviously getting killed as well. You can't beat the original. Uh, we're out. just gonna move forward. Um, <laughs> we're, we're just gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna I'm go. gonna kill revenge again. I'm killing Final Fantasy. Nine. No, it's so charming. <laughs> it's so charming. And I didn't like that they had tails when I was a kid. It's only one character. It's yeah, Zidane. well, it, it, it weirded Zidane. me out. Well, that's that's very hateful and bigoted. I know. You, well, I now I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was I was raised in a small town, conservative town. Yeah, and and we just feared people with tails. I, I well. I've grown and changed how do you now. Feel about Goku. How do you feel? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Was he fine back? The when giant you were a kid? heads are a little weird. Yeah. That's that's. Bizarre. Plus the like plot never moving forward. That's I'm watching Dragon Ball Super now, and I tell you what, I'm just having dumb fun with it. It is. <laughs> That's probably the wise yeah. way to go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting angry about it. It's just <laughs> dumb fun. All right, I'm gonna kill. You know, I'm gonna kill Mist. Mist as a, had a big. Hey, look, it had a big impact on our industry, and it was really pretty uh, groundbreaking when it came out. But have you changed gone, my life? Have you played Mist now? Many times. It yeah, is, it, it it yeah. It doesn't hold up super well. The puzzles mm -hmm. are like really esoteric. They're very like, yeah. The puzzles, <clears throat> it's it's kind of a stretch to even call no them puzzles. No one solved Mist ever initially without some kind of help. No uh, one. Yeah. You had to have something. Yeah. There's just no it's way. Basically, it's <laughs> basically like uh, early point-and-click adventure game Dream Logic. Right. But a puzzle game. But a puzzle game. Really looking forward to Abduction, though. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. That's the Kickstarter game of the same guys, right? Yeah, the Cyan Worlds there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, looks, that looks they're really doing cool. it. Uh, faster! This is Xander Mobus. He is the voice actor for Super Smash Brothers. Four for the Wii U and 3DS, be an answer. And I also, Daylight is a manservant. He is also my manservant. So. Yeah, we're getting there. Let's, um, let's list out what we got left. Okay, what's left? Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, Super Mario Galaxy, The Talos Principle, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Silent Hill 2, There Came an Echo, Ghost Need Sheets, Bloodborne, The Witness, and Final Fantasy, uh, The Witness and Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy. 
I, got, I love it. It's charming. It's beautiful. It's got to go. I got it. You know, I got to kill Ghost Need Sheets. You yeah, said it was worse. Right. You said it was worse than Charity. And again, it's just different. I liked Chrono Trigger a lot, so I'm going to take out Final Fantasy VI, which I know is like the greatest Final Fantasy ever, apparently, according to a lot of people. Six and nine go back and forth in my head a lot. Yeah. Six is six, six was like, okay, I was like 10 or so when that game came out. And I remember being so proud of the game because the game had an opera scene. And I was so ha I was I, t I called my parents in and I said, I said, Mom, Dad, look, this is high culture. <laughs> like I was proving to them it that was art. That was art. That it was that video games could be art. And because look, it's opera, and opera's for rich, fancy people. So obviously, <laughs> this is art. Even though that scene also had a talking purple octopus that was hanging from the rafters. Not relevant. You know, it's, the, you know, the, I think neither here nor there. Operas might have those too. So the good ones. All right, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill my own thing. I, I, look, I love There Came an Echo, and I'm very proud of it, and I'm super excited for it to come out, but you know, we're talking about the best games of all time here. Yeah. I am not an arrogant enough person <laughs> to put There Came an Echo alongside. I'm just glad you had Chrono it. Trigger. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. One day I hope to maybe even come close to this list, but, oh, yeah. but as proud as I am of the game, these are, these are the luminaries. So all right. Bloodborne's all right. still on there. I, I love Silent Hill 2, but I'm going to kill it. You kill it. I'm going to kill it. It's one of the best survival horror games ever made. No doubt. I think it nails the horror atmosphere and probably the entire horror genre would be completely different without its existing. Agree. Uh, but I love a couple of games on here better, so. Yeah, I mean, I think Silent Hill 2 and Resident Evil 4 are really like the two sides of yeah. the survival horror Action coin. horror and survival Action horror. horror and survival horror. But we're down to some of the best we games gotta, of all time. You gotta, gotta make the hard something. cuts. Well, then I'm clearly cutting Bloodborne. I'm, I'm, oh, God! I'm killing every From Software game. Yeah. You're a monster. I'm taking the mic. Did you think Bloodborne was going to win this? No. Chrono Trigger. I'm oh, killing it. No. <laughs> you can't kill Chrono Trigger. Consider, Revenge. Considered by many to be Revenge. the greatest game of all time. Well, it's gone. Uh, you want to talk about all the great games of the <laughs> 90s and how many hold up to today. Like, you play Chrono Trigger, it doesn't feel dated at oh, all. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful Never game. Never existed. Oh, but... Uh, Out of spite. Uh, <laughs> Out of childish... Childish spite. <laughs> How is Final Fantasy Tactics still on there? I love Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, Tactic. screw you. <laughs> Tactics is gone. No. <laughs> it's good. I'll kill. It's because you spite killed Chrono I'll kill Trigger. the Talos Principle. Did you play the DLC? Yes. Oh, I loved it. So good. I loved it. Anyway. Um, I actually make the right choice. I would have eliminated the witness before okay. the Talos Principle. Yeah. They're close. They're, they're both great They're like games. really close. The Talos Principle had really like genuinely interesting philosophical questions that it asked. And cool you know, like. Yeah, the the DLC especially like the the other characters and yeah, stuff, yeah, the yeah. little world they made is right. so cute. It was and super. Cool. Yeah, it was super cool. Like, I kind of feel like I made the wrong choice in the yeah, order. Yeah, well, of these. I'll, I'll help your choice because I probably would have eliminated Talos before C uh, Castlevania. So I'm gonna eliminate the witness, leaving okay. our victor. Our victor. I feel good about this. I actually, pretty good. I love this game. Castlevania, Castlevania Symphony. Symphony, Symphony, Symphony you remember the moment when you inverted Castle? Oh my. God. And you're just like no, that's not no. This, I was just surely like, this is just one room. Wait, no, yeah. my God, no, it's not. It it's remains one of the greatest moments in video oh. gaming history. It's like it's like that, and then seeing red on the top of the mountain at the end of Pokemon Gold and Silver <laughs> is up. No, dude, that's an incredible moment. I never you, played it. Really? I never played many of the Pokemon games. So at, on the on second Nintendo. Pokemon game, and this is thanks to Satoru Iwata, rest in peace. He programming genius. He managed to fit basically the entire first game into the second oh, game. Oh, I heard with about like that, crazy yeah. compression technology. And so when you beat the world in Pokemon Gold and Silver, you can go back to the first game and do like all the stuff you did there, and then you get to this mountain, and at the top of the mountain, staring off in the distance, is Red, your character from the first Pokemon Whoa. game, and he is like over leveled to hell and back, and the music is awesome, and you're just like, no way, it's the dude, it's really cool. And do you have to fight him? Yeah, then? you fight him, and oh. it's like, oh, it's it's an epic moment. That's gotta be insane. And, the, and but getting back to Castlevania, I mean, Turkey in the Walls, like that's a meme yeah. now ish, and so good, so good. Just the, everything about that game, it the way it plays. And don't forget like, some of these iconic quotes. What is a man? A, a miserable, miserable pile, pile of secrets. secrets. Yeah, that's great stuff. Apparently, apparently, that's not a weird translation. It's a quote from some, like, old French thing. Really? Yeah, I, yeah. I looked it up. I thought it's it was, like, like an english thing. No, yeah, it's like some, it's some, it's a quote. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So, Learned something new. If you would like to drink some chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> then. I think we got to go uh, put this in the freezer. Yes, and well, then. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh -huh. I'm with uh, this is Jason Wishnow. This is Ian Hink. Creator of uh, There Came an Echo. Yeah. And but they never existed now, so. Uh, that, actually, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, neither I've, of us have ever I've made any video made, games. I've never made. Neither of us. Have I wonder what it'd be like to make a video game.
It'd be pretty cool, I think. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'd be really good at it, but I feel like maybe. I think you might be. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You probably do some like weird thing, like voice controls or. I, or like a rhythm RPG. Yeah. Do you have like a like a catchy like a like a sign off phrase like and that's the way the news goes? But but you. Uh, I would always say good night and good game. Good night and good game. I ripped it off from Edward R. Murrow. We're at Chili John's, established 1913 in Burbank, California, and it is the yeah, really good chicken chili, and a cool map painting behind us. Check out the cat We asked them if it broke, like, who would they call in, and the woman was like, oh, um, the owner's son works for NASA, so we call him. So the answer is a rocket scientist. They call NASA. Well, yeah, NASA, we need this cash register. When the cash register breaks. <laughs> Hiked up to this tree. It's way up here. You can see the ocean over there if you could see it. These are my friends from Chicago. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Internet hi. or Ian friends. You'll have to sign a release later. Here's the back of that sign everybody's so hot about. 